Fraud. Wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. I couldn't think of a more perfect word for Mr. Paul Saladino, or should we say, Shiladino. And I guess you can say this about the other carnivores as well, as they are being paid to promote the carnivore diet. If you aren't aware of the continued plagiarism of my information, check out my past two videos, Copy Pasta Salad and Paul Saladino the Carnivore Copycat. This guy has copied everything, including my book cover. Here is mine, here is his old one, then he switched over to this. Plus, the title of his book was ripped from Dr. Jason Fung's book, The Obesity Code. Sounds awfully familiar to me. He copied the name of my podcast, Mind Being Perfected Health. One week later, he comes out with Fundamental Health. And he's even promoting a deodorant. I started Frankie's Naturals over a year ago, and these corporate chills just steal ideas and prop them up with millions of dollars. Paul, I have a better book cover idea for you. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the top of his head! <laughs> Look at his lips! <laughs> Some of you guys suggested I plant fake information in one of my videos to prove he copies me. And I did just that. On March 7th, I made a video discussing how salmon roe contains vitamin C, and once you do a fair bit of research on raw animal foods, you'll understand that most of them have antiscorbutic properties in a fresh raw state. This is 10 times higher in certain organs and tissues, almost 10 times higher in liver and fish eggs. So if you were following a carnivore diet, you would likely get two to three times the amount of vitamin C. On March 14th on the Ben Greenfield podcast, Paul Shiladino does not mention that Salmon Row has vitamin C when questioned about it, despite spending most of the podcast talking about Salmon Row. Vitamin C would probably be the only one that I can think of that people, maybe you can think of others that people would say, oh, you can only get that from plants. And that's not true. If you look at liver, there's actually quite a good amount of vitamin C in liver and there's a good amount in brain mm -hmm. as well. And if you look at the Inuit, there's a good amount mm -hmm. in the whale blubber skin. And so, so again, he knows the tail. If you eat nose to tail, you'll get plenty of vitamin C. Carotenoids. On March 26th, I called out Paul Shiladino and Ben Greenfield that they were stuffing their faces with salmon roe without knowing it had vitamin C. He clearly didn't know that salmon roe contains vitamin C, otherwise he would have mentioned it. Ben Greenfield asked Paul what foods had vitamin C, and they had both stuffed their faces with salmon roe this morning, but they didn't mention that salmon roe has vitamin C. So if Paul was actually doing his own research on why salmon roe is good for you, he would have saw that it had vitamin C because he would have seen it on a nutrient database. But Paul didn't know that because he didn't watch the video where I mentioned salmon roe has vitamin C. Oh, guess what? On April 4th, Paul suddenly knows salmon roe has vitamin C in a discussion conveniently after I called him out on it. You know, if you're eating any liver, you're probably getting enough vitamin C. And then there are other foods that also have vitamin C from the animal. I've talked about salmon roe has a little bit of vitamin C. And on April 6th, I revealed that I lied. Or, well, I wasn't specific. Salmon roe will have vitamin C if it's not salted. Paul and Ben were consuming salmon caviar, aka salted fish roe. When you salt or preserve a food, you reduce the antiscorbutic properties, if not remove them altogether. If Paul actually did his own research on vitamin C, instead of just parroting me and watching my videos, he might have known this. Paul sat in a conversation with Bart K that salmon roe has vitamin C, and I, I paged him, I, I, like, I, I put that information in a video intentionally. In, in a video where I corrected Paul Saladino, where he, I said he was a crook, I said that, by the way, Paul, salmon roe has vitamin C. What I didn't mention was that if you salt and cure salmon roe, you remove the antiscorbutic properties. So salmon caviar doesn't have vitamin C. So I kind of intentionally made it so Paul was spreading incorrect information. Uh, I planted like a little, I planted something that sounded correct, but it wasn't which goes to show that Paul didn't do his research. Claims to be the leading authority on the science and application of the carnivore diet. 
Paul, how is that possible if you were stuffing your face with spinach less than two years ago? Oh wait, I know. You just get a bunch of other industry shills to prop you up. Mark Sisson, Ben Greenfield, Mercola, Dave Asprey, Rob Wolf. So I guess all of these people support plagiarism just so they can keep lining their pockets with the money of the sheeple. You know what's strange? Many of the other carnivore shills are ex-vegans as well. Bobby's Perspective, Primal Edge Health, Raw Alignment, clearly getting paid to switch over to the new trend. I've spent over seven years now researching and experimenting on this diet, yet I've had no such podcasts or opportunities. Paul, it must be nice to live a privileged life and travel for six years while someone else does the work for you. Shit, if I knew I could have gone on vacation for six years instead of working myself half to death, why didn't someone tell me? Oh, it's because I don't have free connections. Paul, were you just sent from Big Collagen? I'm a bit confused because you were sprinkling collagen powder on your salads just over a year and a half ago, but now you prefer to sprinkle collagen powder on your steaks? You started the carnivore diet just over a year ago, and one month after you started, you were already making videos about how to do the diet right. Maybe you should tell your fanboys to stop choking down collagen and eggshells if you flip-flop diets this often. Paul Saladino was recently on The Doctors with The Shill Sisters. And if you can't tell this was a complete setup, you might need to get your IQ checked. Is it a conflict of interest if one of the sisters worked as Mr. Saladino's secretary? Hmm, this is a, an awful coincidence. Is it criminal? that this clown of a doctor charges $800 per hour to repeat Frank Tofano's free information? Yes, Paul Shiladino, I know it sucks to not know half as much as me about the carnivore diet, to not be as smart as me in general, but you're still an intelligent guy that can help a lot of people. Or, you know, I'll take that back. Maybe you're not intelligent. Maybe you're just really good at memorizing, plagiarizing information. Too bad you're in it for all the wrong reasons. I'm not going anywhere and I will continue to expose the shills until everyone sees how ugly they are on the inside. For someone like myself to be treated like this is nothing short of evil. I spend every waking moment of my day focused on things to help other people. Every single thing I do has that end goal, and all I met with is these degenerates stealing my ideas and twisting the message. Then they ban me from all of the carnivore forums and social media pages to hide the truth. How crazy is it that these elites can prop someone up so quickly in the span of a year? Just throw a freshly minted doctor on some podcasts, put him in front of a large audience with someone else's information. This society is disgusting, especially you YouTube who are taking his side for a chance at a few thousand subscribers. You picked the losing side. And the fact that not one person took the side of Frankie Boy, the fact that no vegans are touching this with a 10-foot pole is the proof that everyone is special interest funded. They are being paid to say the words coming out of their mouth. So you should not support them, you should not trust them, and anyone else who supports them is not to be trusted as well. It's not too late to apologize, Paul. Do you really want the man who copied Frank Tofano written on your tombstone? I mean, I guess corporate shill is already going to be etched there anyway, so I guess you don't really care at this point. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, unfortunately, this has to keep happening because these people keep stealing my information, ignoring me, and uh, all sorts of nasty corporate tactics. So, uh, guys, please share the video. Uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like the video. Uh, if you'd like to support me further, you can check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. Uh, or if you want uh, a new version of that, I think Paul has a book coming out in a week or two. Uh, but if you want the original source of information, definitely buy my book down in the description. You can go to Frankie's Here Range Meat. Uh, if you want an actually good deodorant product, go to Frankie's Naturals, not some nonsense packaged in plastic that he's promoting. And you can also go to frank-stefano.com for affordable dietary and nutrition consultations that you don't have to reverse mortgage your house for. So thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. At the end of the day, talent always wins. And all you guys are losing your hair, so I guess...
I guess that's another downside of being a dirty bold of liar. Almost forgot guys. The craziest thing about all of this, the only reason I'm making these videos is because he didn't mention my name. How hard is it to credit someone when you're using their information? Why wouldn't you do that? Oh yeah, Frank DeFano's great, seven year carnivore, does a lot of research. Is it because you don't want people to know where you got the information from? Possibly. Only thing that makes sense to me.